All right, 1330, right about where we opened. <clears throat> we opened this morning right around uh, 1332. So uh, we've gone all of down two points net on the day here with uh, uh, about 50 minutes to go until the 115 close here on the west coast, left coast. Put up a chart again, long term of the S&P here. Again, the break started in October. We hit a high of 1586. We hit a low now. Back in March of 1251, we really hit that number twice. And again, you can see on the daily chart here, we've got uh, key areas of resistance that are really, really 1400 to 1420 is one area, 1380s, a large area, and the area where we are now, 1330. And these all happen to coincide with key FIB numbers. So if we're going to go higher, we're going to have to bounce here pretty soon. Probably down to the 1300 area, you're going to have to see a bounce. We've got the Fed coming two weeks from Wednesday, the 30th. The Fed announces their next uh, rate policy, uh, probably another rate cut. We've got inflation rampant. We've got oil at 112 again today. We've got gold still up at 926. We do have inflation. We've got the 10-year at 3.503. That's been stuck. Let's look at the daily there. Uh, but the key things here, again, for me, are the, the S&P is stuck in this range, has been really for the past uh, going on four months in this uh, 1250 to 1420 range. So uh, I don't know how it's all going to play out, but the 10 year is telling me that kind of the same thing. Uh, it's just kind of bouncing along on the bottom here. We may have one more set of rate cuts before the Fed is done. Uh, they need to overdo it, I think, on the downside. So again, the S&P trading 1328.50. It's weak here into the close, but the volume is just terrible all day. S&P is trading at 17.97. Uh, just you know, looking at this market, it's just painful. There's really no ebb and flow for me. Uh, again, I'm looking at a five-minute chart. Uh, we're kind of on the lower end of the flag we've been trading in on the five-minute chart. Uh, the two-minute, not so obvious. Went down, went up went down and we're again just nibbling here on the bottom there's really nothing happening so uh, the big picture again tells me to uh, just kind of wait and see which way the market's going to go first before trying to predict it because uh, predicting uh, in a market like this is really for fools so 1328.50 as we speak we're trying to go to the new lows we hit 27.50 earlier and uh, they're trying to take them uh, down but again the volume is just uh, nowhere near what what it was for the first hour hour and a half. Uh, we're probably trading a third of the volume here, so I don't I don't view this sell off as particularly bearish. But you also can't look at it as uh, it's tough to catch a knife here. Also, so we've got uh, again 45 minutes. It's 12:30. We'll see where we close. Uh, catch you back here tomorrow. But uh, not trying to make any predictions here. But the the market just just continues to uh, drip off on a daily basis.